You're listening to 7-Minute Stories with Aaron Califato. This episode, The Cran Emergency. I don't know how it happened, but I have three kids. I have a blood daughter, and I have two bonus kids. They're Corey's kids. She's my girlfriend. She does the intro for the podcast. We've become a blended family over the last few years, and it's been beautiful. One day I get home, and one of my bonus kids, his name, his nickname is G, so I'm going to call him G. Uh, he has a really red ear. I've noticed he's jumping on the couch up and down, and I do it. Father figures do, and I'm like, stop jumping on the couch. Get your hands washed. Get ready for bed, all this kind of stuff. But I say, come over here, dude. Let me look at your ear. And it's bright red like a cherry. And I go to Corey. I'm like, hey, I, I think this guy's got an ear infection. She goes, I think he's got allergies. I'm like, okay, we'll see. So he's taking a bath that night with, and his mom's helping him. And I hear him crying from downstairs. So I walk down there and I'm like, hey, dude, what, what's going on? What's wrong? He goes, my ear hurts. I mean, my ear really hurts. It's bad. It hurts. And I'm trying to figure out why would his ear hurt so bad? And... I'd say to Corey, why don't we just take him to the doctor and they can see if he's sick. And he goes, I'm not sick. Maybe it's the crayon in my ear. And I turn to him and I say, what did you say? And he goes, it might, might be the crayon in my ear, but it's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong, but there might be a crayon in my ear. I said, there might be a crayon in your ear. Is that what you're saying to me? He goes, yes. I said, okay. And and Corey takes her cell phone, turns the flashlight on, and she looks in there. She goes, oh, my God, Aaron. Oh, my God, he's not lying. And I take the flashlight, and I look in there, and either it's nuclear waste, really funky earwax, or this dude's got a neon crayon in his ear canal. And I say right away, do we got to get you to the ER? And he goes, no, no, no. He starts crying and screaming. I said, well, then you got to let me try. So here I go, Dr. Aaron, I got, I have tweezers. I'm trying to pull this neon yellow crayon from his ear. It's crumbling. And after interrogating him for about 20 more minutes and teaching him lessons about not putting crayons in your ear, especially when some kid tells you to do it, I say, like, would you jump off a cliff if your friends told you to do it? I'm my parents again, but I had to enforce upon him how terrible this was. He reveals to me that this crayon has been in his ear for a week. I said, gee, you've had a crayon in your ear for a week? He goes, yes, I just didn't want to get in trouble. Yes. So the truth is out. We swoop him up. We take him to the ER. We show up. We go to the, the, the reception as we go, kid's got a crayon in his ear. She goes, what? I said, a kid's got a crayon lodged inside his ear canal. She goes, oh my God, get back there. ER doctor shows up. Very calm, very sweet. She's talking to him. But she's like, we got to get this thing out. And she pulls out this huge four foot tweezer like thing. And I say to her, do we have any more sophisticated tools in the ER to do these type of things? She goes, no, there's just really big tweezers. That's what we got. And so I said, okay. And I got to prepare this kid. It's going to hurt. And I'm holding his hand and I'm looking at Corey. I'm trying to support her. And I'm frustrated with him too, right? Like, Like I'm, I'm angry at him, but I'm trying to protect him at the same time. I'm so pissed that he put a crayon in his ear, but I also don't want him to feel pain. So I'm holding his hand, balancing these emotions. He's looking at me. And when they put this tweezer thing in his ear, he screams. It's so painful. I can feel the pain in my bones. I'm looking at this thing in his ear and I'm coaching. I'm like, Mickey, I'm like, don't go down. You got this. Hang in there. It's okay. It's almost over. They're digging what seems to be seven feet into his ear and blood is starting to spew from the ear because it's so irritated down his face. And the doctor looks at me, looks at me and says, I can't get this out. Do you want to try me? So I I said, okay. So I go over there and I start trying to pull with the four foot tweezers thing out. I make it worse. And then the doctor says to me, you know, I think we're going to have to send you guys home. And then you're going to have to go to a specialist. And I said, no way. We are in the ER. We are not going home tonight. We've got to get this out. You got to do something. And she says, okay. And she tries this different technique. She uses a different tweezer thing. I'm squeezing G's hand. Tears are falling from his face. And finally, the ER doctor is able to dislodge and pull out 
this really long half of a neon yellow crayon. And when it comes out, it was like a baby was being born. You heard a pop. I saw the relief in G's eyes. I saw the relief in Corey's eyes. The whole room, by the, by the time there was nurses, the whole hospital was in the room. This was like a case study. And everybody just sighs and goes, oh, this massive amount of relief. And I, I hold his hand. I said, you did it, buddy. You did it. We got it out. And as the doctor is cleaning up the rainbow of blood and goo from his ear in the pillow, she's looking in there and she says to me, wait a second. I said, what? She goes, can you come here for a second? And I go over there and she goes, I don't know if this is just from the irritation, but can you look in there? Does that look like a, and we both say together, another crayon. This time it was an orange Crayola crayon. This dude had two crayons that we know of. I turned on, I said, gee, how many crayons do you have in your ear? Is it 10? Is it 15? He goes, there's no more crayons. There's no more crayons. I mean, he's fighting for survival. He can't go through this again. He's telling me there's no crayons. I'm saying, gee, I'm looking at this thing. It's a crayon. He finally admits that it is two crayons. And this time it's an orange one. He's got an orange and a yellow crayon. We got the yellow one out. Now we got to get the orange one out. But he's been through so much trauma. I didn't know what to do. So I told the ER doctor, I was like, you got to put him asleep. You got to drug him because he's going to have PTSD from this thing. And so they give him some drugs and knocks him out. It's really freaky. His eyes are going in the back of his head and they take water and they irrigate his canal of his ear for almost like four minutes. And finally, in a, in a disgusting rainbow, the orange crayon pops out of his ear with blood and goo and pus and every liquid imaginable. He doesn't know what's happening because he's asleep. And we got the second crayon out. Thank God. And as he's coming to, he's high off medicine. He, I can tell he has to pee. It's just this thing, this fatherhood instinct, just like the ear infection. And I said, somebody get me a jug. So I get this like milk jug. I stand him up. I'm looking at this kid and he's peeing the most pee I've ever experienced. I'm holding literally a gallon of this kid's urine as I'm looking at him. And I'm so frustrated and angry and moved and in love and all of these things at once. And I'm like, I'm really here. This is my life. And I think to myself, life isn't like a box of chocolates. Life is like a box of Crayola crayons. I hope you enjoyed the episode. A lot of people have been coming up to Aaron and I at parties, sending emails, and calling to tell us how much they love the podcast and ask when the next episode's coming out. A great way to stay connected is to visit the website, 7 com. You can also subscribe on Apple Podcasts. And while you're there, let more people know what you think about Aaron and his storytelling by rating and leaving a review. Lastly, the biggest compliment you can give us is to share your favorite episode with friends on social media. Thanks again for listening.